Hey, what's up, users? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And I have a really exciting video tutorial for you today. I'm going to be showcasing and presenting the full screen slideshow cover widget found at museforyoushop.com. Um, and the features of this widget, um, you can add a full screen slideshow uh, to your website. And uh, once the user scrolls, they will see the website below the slideshow. Uh, so until the user scrolls, um, the slideshow will be visible 100% width and 100% height. Um, so I'll go ahead and read the features of the widget. Um, it's a full screen slideshow that covers the entire website before the user scrolls. Um, it's 100% width and height. Uh, you can select from 1 to 12 images. You can choose from 74 animations for the slideshow in and out animations. You can add links to the images. You can add a color overlay over the images. You can add a title and description over the images. Uh, you can set the duration of each slide in the slideshow. Uh, you can enable slideshow dot navigation. Uh, you can autoplay the slideshow and pause it. And it works in responsive design and adaptive design in Adobe Muse. And it works on all devices. Um, so here, those are the features. And over here to the left, uh, we have the widget options. Um, there's three different widgets here that are included with the widget. And I'll go over that in this video tutorial. Uh, but I'll go ahead and click on the first uh, preview page right here. Uh, so here's the slideshow. And initially, uh, here I have it set to autoplay. So it's going to go to the next slide. Uh, looks good. And I can go through the slideshow with the previous and next buttons right here, which is great. And I can use the dot navigation to go through the slideshow. Uh, now I'm not going to see the website until I scroll. So once I scroll, we can see that we have content in the website here below the slideshow. Uh, once you're scrolled all the way to the top, the slideshow will just appear. And if I resize the browser, the slideshow will resize with the browser. And until I scroll, that's when I see the content that's on the website. So it literally uh, stays on top of the website until the user scrolls, uh, scrolls down, uh, which is great. So there we go. And I can make it as small or as large as I'd like and the slideshow stays there. Okay, so that's the first example with just the images. Then I'll go to the second example, uh, and this has links. So if I click on the image, it takes me to a website. Um, and you can open the website in a new page or within the same page. Um, and each of these images have a link. So I just click and it takes me to a website um, there. So you can have an image that you know might represent a website. And on the image, you could say, you know click here, and once they click, um, it'll take him to the website. And again, when I scroll, the content is below the slideshow, which looks really nice. Okay, and again, I'm resizing the browser and the slideshow stays there and the images resize. Okay, and I can pause the slideshow or play it, previous and next, and use the dot navigation, just like that. And the third uh, preview is with text, is with uh, yeah, the title and description, and it has a color overlay over it as well. Uh, so you can add any color overlay you'd like over the images, and you can set the opacity of the cover. So you can have it uh, zero opacity, which means there's no overlay, or you could have it at one, which is a solid color, and anything in between will just show the image more or less. Uh, and then for the title and description, um, you can choose from over 700 Google fonts, and the title and description can have different fonts, different colors, and they can be different sizes. So you can completely customize the title and description and have have them yeah and have them look uh, kind of different from each other there, and, and different sizes and colors and um, and fonts there. Um, yeah, which I mentioned. Uh, and again, if we scroll down, we can see the content, and you know I can resize it again, and it looks great. Okay, so those are the preview pages, and this does work on mobile as well. So I'm going to open uh, these preview pages on my mobile device. I have a iPhone 5S, so I'll just open that up real quick. Okay, so here I have the widget page, and I'll just scroll down to the preview page. If I click on preview, uh, there we have the slideshow, and I can go through the slides just like that. Looks great. Okay, and if I go up with my finger, um, it goes to the content on the website, and it even works on landscape as well. So if I go up, there's the slideshow, scroll down, and there's the content. There we go. Looks good. And landscape. There we go. Perfect. All right. Looks good. And I can go through the slideshow with the dots and everything. Perfect. I'll go back to shop and I'll scroll down again and I'll click on preview with links 
And if I click on the image, it goes to museforyoushop.com. Perfect. And again, I can go up. There's the content, landscape. There's the slideshow. And I go up. There it is. So it stays within the browser until I scroll, uh, scroll up with my finger. Okay, and there's the slideshow. Looks good. And then here I'll go back to shop. Here we're back on the widget page. And I'll go to the preview with overlay and text. And there it is with the Muse for You. Awesome websites plus no code equals Muse for You. There's the description. Um, looks good. And I'll scroll and there's the content. Perfect. All right, looks good. So as we can see, it works on uh, you know desktop and it works on mobile, and you can have a few different variations of the widget on your website. So to get access to this widget, um, you simply go to museforyoushop.com, and then here you can click on the pop-up, and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Or if you'd like to use PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. Uh, if you'd like to purchase the widget individually, you can click here on the full screen slideshow cover. And uh, here you can click add to cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with building these example sites so I can show you how to use the widget. So I'll open up Adobe Muse. I'll go to file, new site, and I'll click okay and then I'll double click on the home page. And the first thing I'm gonna do is bring in the widget right away. So here in my library panel, um, I have it over here to the right. Uh, if you don't see the library panel, you can just go to window and click click on library. Um, and then here I'll type in FSC, and that's short for full screen slideshow cover. Um, I just decided to abbreviate it so, it doesn't, so you don't have to type so much when finding the widget. Uh, so here I'm going to bring in just the images first. Um, there's three widgets with, within the widget. There's the, the one with just the images, which is FSC. And then there's FSC with links, which you can add links to, to the images. And there's FS, FSC with overlay and text. So for this first example, I'm just going to bring, the, bring in the FSC uh, just with the images. And here are the widget options. Uh, so here we can select the number of images. We can select from 1 through 12. Um, I'll leave it at 4 for now. And then here we can select from 74 different animations for the animation in and 74 animations for the animation out. Um, I would recommend to use uh, in animations like fade in or flip in uh, for the in animation because it makes more sense visually when the animation is doing something that's coming in. And then for the animation out, I would select an out animation uh, so that it makes sense when the image is leaving um, to the next image. Okay, and then for the slide duration, you can set how long each slide will last uh, d during the slideshow. Um, here, I have it set to 5,000, which is five, decan five seconds. Um, 1,000 milliseconds equals one second, and it is in milliseconds, so 5,000 is five seconds. And then the start index, you can start um, the slideshow at a particular image. Um, zero is the first image and 11 would be if you had 12 images 11 would be the last image and then you can set the background color for the slideshow and the background color will be visible uh, in between slide transitions so um, if your website has a particular color theme um, you might want to set the background color to that color theme so when the slides are changing um, the user will see that color behind um, the slides when they're changing. Um, and here you can set the autoplay, you can set dot navigation, and you can enable controls. Um, and for the image, you can set uh, from one through, t through 12 images. Uh, here to add the image, you just, select, um, you just select the image by clicking add file, and then you can add alternative text. And uh, alternative text is just a good SEO practice uh, because it lets uh, search engines know what the image is about and that image might show up in the search engine when somebody's searching for a particular idea and then they go to images, um, your image is more likely to show up if it has a description to it um, because the search engines know what, what the image is about. Okay, so there we have the widget options. Um, and before I add the images, I'm just gonna add some content to the website. Um, and you can just work with the website as if the slideshow isn't even there because the slideshow just literally gets added to the top of the website. Um, so you can just go ahead and build the website just like you normally would. And then just add the widget and it will be added to the top of the website. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some images uh, just to fill in some content. So I'm gonna open up these um, these workflow kind of wireframe diagrams and I'm just gonna paste it into the website. So 
um, we'll use this one here and I'll just paste and make this really uh, really big here all right and just center that and I'll change the background color as well so let me sample this gray here okay so I'll select the sample color tool I'll sample this here I'll double click or yeah I'll double click on the um, this swatch this watch here and copy the hex code then I'll go into Adobe Muse and for the browser fill I'll set it to this gray here. Okay, so there we have the content. It's an image um, and that's basically it. So if I actually go to file, preview site in browser, we have the slideshow uh, already there, but because there's no images, we just see the background color. Um, so to change that, um, we'll just add some images. So I'll go into the widget, I'll click on add file and I'll just randomly select some images here. and I've gotten these images from unsplash.com. Uh, there we go, so because there's four, I've selected four images, I've added four images here. And now if I go to File, Preview Site in Browser, uh, I have the images there. There's my slideshow, I scroll up, and there's my content right below the slideshow. Uh, it's just, it's that easy. Um, yeah, you just add the widget and um, add your content and add your images, and you have a slideshow above your Adobe Muse website. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is add the slideshow with um, with the link. So I'll just go into FFSC and drop it in here. And it's the same options as the first one. Um, I'll add the images. Uh, the only difference is here we notice it says link, and here's where you'll add your link. And alternative text is the same, and then you can select whether you want the link to open in, in a new page or um, in in the same page that it's on currently. Okay, so I'll just add some images here, just like so, and perfect. And then I'll open the links in a new page except the last one. Uh, so we can see the last one open in a different page. And then I'll just go to museforyshop.com. I'll just copy that and paste in the link section. And the last one will go to Google. Google.com. Okay, looks good. Uh, so now I'll just go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. There's the images, and if I click, it takes me to museforyoushop.com. Um, and it is opening in the same page, so, or no, it's opening in a new page. Um, so I'll click on the second one, that opens in a new page as well. The third one opens in a new page, and the last one doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, and the last one didn't go anywhere because there was three P's in HTTP. Um, so there we go. Um, and let me go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And I'll go to the fourth one right away. And I'll click. And we go to Google, and it doesn't open in a new page. It opens uh, within the same um, uh, page there. Okay, so that's the slideshow with the links. And again, if I scroll down, we can see the content right there. Looks good. And the last one I'll show is the FFC with overlay and text. Um, again, the same options, except we can choose an overlay color uh, for the images. So if I select like this light blue um, and I set the opacity, I'll leave it at 0.6 for now. Um, and the rest of the options are the same. Uh, but then we have the title and description options. So here I can type in Muse for You for the title. I can select a Google font from here, over 700 Google fonts. And then description, I'll say awesome websites plus no code, e uh, code equals muse for you. And then I'll change the font there so they're different. Um, and if, you, if you're not sure what font to choose, you can click here on uh, this link here, and it'll take you right to the Google Fonts website. Okay, so there's the slideshow with the overlay and text, or we went over the title and description. Um, you can change the title font color, the title font size, the title line height and the font weight as well. Okay, so 400 is normal for the font weight. Um, anything less will make the font thinner and anything more will, will make the font thicker. Um, and the same options for the description as well. They have the same uh, options for title and description so you can have them uh, be different uh, in the slideshow. Uh, so I'll go ahead and add images as well. Um, so I'll just select four images just like so. And perfect. Um, so now I'll go into 
file preview page and browser and there we have the color overlay and the text muse for you and the font uh, awesome websites plus no code equals muse for you and then we have that blue overlay and if i scroll down uh, there's the content and i'll bring in the font smoother here just to make it look a bit nicer that font there okay looks good file preview page and browser there we go that looks nice Perfect. I could even change the description text because it's a little bit, um, it's kind of cursive, um, not as easy to read. So I'll change it there. I'll go to file, uh, to preview site and browser. Uh, there we go. That looks good. All right. So there we have the slideshow. All right. So I'll actually work with the animations now because we've seen the slideshow. So let's just add a few different animations. Um, so I can say, you know, fade in up and then fade out or flip flip out, uh, here we go, flip, yeah, flip out X, and let's see how that looks. Uh, some com combinations don't work great together, so you can just work with it and see what looks good for the website. There we go, and it kind of flips out a little bit, and then the animation changes just like that. So you can choose from the different animations and really add a nice uh, transition to your website for the images. And the last thing I'll do is I'll bring in the transitioner widget uh, just so that the first um, initial uh, view of the page looks really nice and smooth. Uh, there. So we'll just drop it in. Um, I like the fade in effect and the fade out. So I'll go to file, preview page, and browser. And there we go. So we probably didn't notice it, but there's a nice little transition in there in the beginning. Um, and if I scroll down, there's the content looks great okay so i think that's it for this video tutorial um again i was really excited to be uh creating this widget um, and making it available for you to add this uh, feature to your adobe muse website this effect and uh, this feature so as you can see you can do a lot with this widget um, you can just add images you can add the images with links um, and you can open in a new page or within the same page um, and you can add alternative text so the search engines know what the image is about um, and, and you can add overlay and text over the slideshow and that looks really good and you can scroll down and the user can see the entire website um, so it's just you know working within the website just how you normally would uh, and once you drop in the widget this uh, slideshow will get added to the top of the website and the user can resize the browser and that slideshow will stay at the top until the user scrolls down and it works on all devices um, yeah, so that's it for this video tutorial. Uh, again, to get access to this widget, uh, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and uh, here you can click on the pop-up and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. Uh, if you'd like to purchase the widget individually, you can click here on the full screen slideshow cover. Uh, and then here you can click on add to cart to purchase individually or again you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets i come out with for 39 a year uh, so that's it for this video tutorial again i do this to help you build awesome websites without code uh, if you like this video tutorial you can subscribe below also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com so again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video tutorial thank you